Today was the opening of Striped Bass season, but more importantly, it was the Battle of the Beers at Trez Palms Restaurant in Babylon Village. Well, it's Tuesday night and we're having uh, the Battle of the Beers on the Great South Bay. And we have two, uh, two of the best breweries on Long Island, Fire Island Beer Company versus Great South Bay Brewery. The two teams have brought down three of their best beers, stouts, IPAs, and ales. And we're going head-to-head -head competition. We're going to let our guests here decide on what's the best beer um, in that category on Long Island. And as you can see, everybody's doing a lot of research and working hard trying to uh, get to the bottom line of what is the best beer and what's the best beer company. Great South Bay Brewery was established in 2010. I started brewing beer. I've been a home brewer since I was uh, in my 20s. And basically for the last 15, 20 years, I've always had a dream to open a brewery. Decided to do it in Bayshore, New York. Um, I think uh, what, what uh, distinguishes our beers or sets us apart from some of the others is our creativity in, in the way we do it. I joined forces with uh, eight or nine other guys who are uh, pretty serious brewers and we put it together to come out with some really creative tastes and uh, kind of market it in a very growing beer industry where uh, people want something that's different and tailored. Uh, right now I'm drinking a, a Hopsy Daisy, which is a session IPA, very, very popular um, in the industry. Lightly hopped, it's only four and a half, half percent alcohol. To make it taste right, it takes a lot of work, and uh, I think we did a pretty good job. Fire Island Beer Company was started myself, my brother, my cousin, used to run a concession stand over in Atlantique for my father in the summers. Um, basically got into some home brewing over there, uh, kind of really fell in love with the art of brewing, um, and, and decided to take it from a hobby, uh, make it become a profession, uh, I would say back in, it was actually 2009. Uh, well, right now we do Lighthouse Ales and Amber Ale. Uh, Red Wagon IPA is our India Pale Ale. It's more of an English style IPA. The Lighthouse Ale is an Amber. It's smooth, sessionable, easy drinking. Um, and then we do four seasonals over the course of the year. We do a pumpkin ale, we do a winter warmer, um, we do a stout, and then we do a uh, blonde ale with some Atlantic sea salt in it. And then tonight we've got our IPA, Red Wagon, uh, on draft, as well as the stout and the, uh, the blonde ale with Atlantic sea salt in it. Beer lovers enjoyed all the different varieties, from Snaggletooth Stout to Red Wagon IPA. Uh, well, I started with the Red Wagon IPA, and I'm an IPA kind of guy. I like something with a full body and a lot of taste, and I love that. Um, then I switched over to the uh, Hopsy Daisy from Great South Bay again, another great brew, full bodied, uh, lots of flavor. Uh, you know, a guy my age, you know, I'm not looking for volume, I'm looking for taste, so both of them were just absolutely outstanding. If you ask me to pick a favorite, I couldn't. I'll uh, order either one anytime I go to the bar. If you haven't done so already, visit Trez Palms, Babylon's only waterfront restaurant and bar, and taste the beers for yourself. For Skimmer Outdoors, I'm Tim C. Smith.